today we're gonna talk about mood boards. It's gonna be awesome. The word mood board is a funny word. It's a weird word, but it's an awesome thing. Mood boards are a general aesthetic for your website or for your project that you can hand off to the client or to your creative director that will let them know your general idea of the look and feel of the project that contains but is not limited to color and pattern and textures and typography and image selection. It's an awesome tool to use to present to your clients or to your creative director or whoever is making the design decisions. Also, if it's your first time on the channel, I'm so glad you're here. I like to talk about design and development and creative things mostly. And so if you're interested in those kind of things, make sure you hit the subscribe down below so you see more videos like this one. Back to mood boards. Number one reason you should mood board, it saves you time. Some years ago I worked at a creative agency and for every website that I had to do, I had to make three to four full-fledged high-res mock-ups and it was a waste of time. I started quickly making mood boards, three to four different mood boards, and it went from me taking days to have stuff ready for presentation to hours. Number two reason you should use a mood board, it helps you find the right solution. So when you start putting together the color palette and the textures and the different typography and image selections, you start seeing like a snapshot of, of what it is that you're kind of thinking and pairing that with your wireframe, you start seeing what that skeleton's gonna look like with a little bit of meat on the bones. Number three, it helps make sense of the brand and the client and the user. What elements should be on your mood board? We mentioned them a little bit earlier, but let's list them out, ready? You should have color palette typography, textures, patterns, photo selection. I feel like there's a sixth thing you should put inside of your mood board and those are miscellaneous things that are directly in context of your project. So if it's an interface, you're looking for button styles. If it's a website, you're looking for menu styles. If it's So putting different elements on the page that will help whoever's looking at this mood board get a good sense of what the website's gonna look like before you ever actually have to design anything. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the nuts and bolts, the different ways that you can mood board your project. The first way to do a mood board is to do what's called a strict mood board. They're really tightly categorized and placed on the page. They're very presentational kind of minded. These would be something for a more strict art director or for a client who wants a little bit more of a professional presentation. Even though it's strict and it takes a little bit of layout, it's still way less work than doing a high res mockup. The second way to do a mood board is called a messy mood board. This is literally you just taking screenshots and screen grabs and pulling down images from all sorts of different resources and then slapping them all on one canvas to make like this hodgepodge quilt of scrapbook that's like your grandmother's nightmare from when you were five. And then you present said quilt and say, this is what it could look like. I like a messy mood board. Saves a lot of time and it gets a lot of work done, honestly. Number three is called a pin board. This would be like a digital version of kind of a messy mood board, but there are some applications and some platforms out there that will allow you just to grab and save. Obviously, Pinterest is a good example for this. You can just kind of on your phone or online just grab stuff and pin, 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 pin. Also another really, really good option is Envision has an entire section devoted to boards uh, where you can just grab resources and upload them and you can resize them. I kind of like to use the resizing tool as almost like a hierarchy of what I like most. So the biggest things are what I like the best, the smallest things are to be considered but not necessarily my favorite. The last option, and honestly, I think it's my favorite option, is making a style tile. Style tiles are an awesome tool that was created, I, I feel like quite some time ago, and I actually forgot all about style tiles, and then I found them again recently, it was like, bah, 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 why am I not using style tiles? Style tiles can be found at styletile.es, one of those weird domains, but it's basically a format for mood boarding that is the mixture, it's the blending, it's the bringing together of a strict and a messy mood board and kind of just converging them into one. So you're doing like minimal page layout, but none of this actual page layout would end up going into the final version. Like, like this header is not actually gonna look like this or this backdrop wouldn't actually have things like this on top of it. You're not conceptualizing that far. You're just taking it a step back. So this is like, for me, the perfect step because 
it's hard for me to just mood board without thinking a little bit about how the website's actually gonna look in the end and putting some elements kind of like in order in my mind. And so doing this is kind of like the step before mock-up, but not quite as messy or abstract as a pure mood board. So I recommend a style towel for your next project. Well, that's it. That is mood boarding in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mood boarding is an imperative part of the creative process. It really helps stir up your creativity and start helping you to to make the right design decisions for your project. If you guys like this video, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. I like to talk about a lot of design and development related topics, and so I'd love for you to kind of join the community and start getting in the discussion in the comments. Also, any links that were mentioned in the video are down in the description. I hope you guys are making amazing stuff. Hope you're designing amazing stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.